So I'm here in San Francisco. San Francisco is known for a great many things. It's culture, it's food, it's also known for its hilly streets. And that's actually what I'm gonna to talk to you about today. Because I'm gonna show you what the hilly streets of San Francisco have to do with this. I came to San Francisco because it's got some of the most beautiful architecture of any city on the West Coast. And there's really no better way to experience that than by watching the sky light up over a city. But even though I came here to do some sightseeing and eat some amazing restaurants, there's something about the geography that I want to show you. San Francisco has some amazingly steep streets, upwards of 30 to 40 percent grades in some places. And I thought this would be perfect to talk about how CDs and DVDs work. You probably already know that the language of a computer is binary, or ones and zeros. And since computers work on electricity, it's kind of like a light bulb going on and off. But a physical disc, like a CD or DVD, doesn't have electricity. So how does it actually store data? It stores data by using a laser to read hills and valleys that are literally etched onto the disc by a special laser. So just like the hills in San Francisco, when a hill goes up to the computer, it means a 1. And when the hill goes down, well, that means a 0. Let's look at it this way. Let's imagine that this line is the surface of our disk. And now let's imagine that this line is the bottom of our disk. And now imagine a giant laser beam just coming in and blowing holes into the surface of our disk, just like this. So now, think about this line and the fact that it's precisely measured. So in other words, the computer knows exactly how long each line segment should be. And what we end up with is hills and valleys. So when the hill is up, as it would be here, this is a 1. But when the hill is down, as you see here, in other words, there's a hole, then it is a zero. So this is a one, that's a zero, that's a one, got ourselves a couple zeros here, that's a one, a zero, as you can see we got several ones here, and on and on. So as I bid a fond farewell to San Francisco, I leave you with this. The next time you walk to the top of a hill, take a moment. Think about how the hilly streets of San Francisco are just like the hills and valleys on a CD or DVD. Of course, just remember that giant lasers didn't make the hills in San Fran. Uh, that would make a good movie, though. So until next time, this was A Bite of the Street.